Hello guys and welcome to the series of shell scripting. In this video, we are going to talk about taking user input using read command, read only variables and unset or delete variables. So let's begin. Read command is used to read the content of a line and store it in some variable. For that, we'll go to the documents and currently I had created an script which was created in the previous video which tells me a formatted output whether a service is active or inactive. For example, currently if I execute this script, it will give me output as network manager is active. Now suppose instead of storing the service name into a variable, I want the user to give the service name and accordingly the operation to take place. So for that I can use here read command. Okay. So by default, if I write here read, it will wait until some input is given. Okay. And by default, the input read by our read command is stored in a variable whose name is reply. Okay. So to use it, I can write here instead of service, I can use here reply. Okay. And I'll remove this line. And also instead of using here service, I can again use here reply. Right. I'll save it. And now, I am going to execute our script here, right? And it is prompting me to give some input, right? So if we see our original script here, then we are currently in this line and it is asking me to give some input, right? So if I give here, for example, Apache 2, then in that case, it will give me the output as Apache 2 is inactive. So what exactly happened here? First of all, it read an input that is the Apache 2 and this value getting stored in the reply variable. After that, we are using the reply variable in this command and the output of this entire command is getting stored in the output variable. Okay. And after that, we had written echo dollar reply. So the value of the reply is here Apache 2 and then the value of dollar output, okay, which is inactive. Right. So the final output was Apache 2 is inactive. Now let's suppose that instead of using the reply variable name, I want to use some other variable name. For that, after the read, you can give any variable name here. For example, I can write here service. Now the value that will be read is going to be stored in the variable service. Right. And instead of writing here reply, I'll simply change it with the service. And here also I'll use the service right and i'll save the file and i'll again execute our script and then it will ask me to write something so i'll again write the apache 2 and in this case it will give me the same output right but in this case our input is getting stored in the service variable after that let's say i want to bring a prompt while reading the input for example i want the message here please enter the service name for that we can use here the option as dash p right dash p and give our string here so i can write here please enter service name okay i'll give here colon and space in this case i'll save the file and i'll clear this one in this particular case it will give me the prompt that please enter the service name right so i can give here let's say network manager and it will act as our input and it will give me accordingly the output okay that is network manager is active now by default as soon as i was hitting the enter our input was ended but let's say i wanted to end the reading of the input as soon as i hit a particular character okay in that case you can use the option here dash d okay dash d and provide here any character for example if i give here colon then as soon as I will hit the colon, the input will be stopped. The taking of the input will be stopped, right? So if I comment this out and I will also comment this out and I'll simply write here echo and then dollar then service, right? I'll save it and now I will again execute our script. Then you will see I can continuously able to give the input, okay? Until unless I'm pressing the character that is the colon. So as soon as I will press the colon, it will be ended, right? And our input string is getting shown due to this particular line, okay? Note that the colon is not getting stored in our variable. One more thing, when the user gives the sensitive information, we don't want the 
this particular string to be shown while user is giving input right for example if you have ever noticed that when you write the password in that particular case no such string is shown while you are writing the password same thing you can also use here for that you can write the option here as dash s okay i'll remove the dash t option and then i will use dash s also i'll save the file and now if i give any input here then you will see our input is not getting shown okay so i had given some string here but this input is not getting shown in this particular line if i press enter then this particular line is showing me the output okay whatever i had given as an input now after that let's talk about the unset variable so unset variable is used when you want to delete or unset any particular variable after you do the unset then you will not be able to access the value of that particular variable it will be completely erased for example here i am writing here output and then i will also write here echo dollar service so until this i am able to access the value of the service now if i write here unset and give the variable name as service and then if i try to access this particular variable then it will not give me any particular value okay i'll save it so now i'll execute our script but before that let me remove this dash s option also so i'll remove this one and save it again right and now if i will execute it i'll write here apache 2 okay so in this particular case you see it is giving me apache 2 is inactive due to this one but now in this particular case it is not printing anything right so after unsetting we cannot access the variable right or in another term we can say the variable is not set to the default value that is nothing that is empty okay if you ever try to access any particular variable which is not defined for example if i'm writing here dollar let's say a b c d ef right it is not defined in that case it generally gives us empty okay i'll write here is okay i'll save it again and now if i execute our script again i give the string as apache 2 and now if you see a b c d e f is not giving me any particular value same as dollar service is not giving me any particular value now after that let's talk about the read only variables so any variables that has been defined as the read only its value cannot be changed afterwards for instance if i write here read only and i'll set it to the service okay so now our service variable is a read only variable okay i'll remove this unsetting of the variable and if i try to write here let's say service equals to a uh, a b c let's say okay and i'll save this and now if i try to execute this one so i'll write here apache 2 again right so it is giving me that apache 2 is inactive due to this particular line after that i am trying to change the value of a read only variable so that is the reason it is giving me the error here that in the line 7 service is this particular variable is read only and i am trying to change the value of that particular variable right so any variable that is set to the read only its value cannot be changed okay not only its value cannot be changed also this particular variable cannot be unset right so in if i uncomment it then also it will give me the error so if i see here it you will see that unset service cannot unset read only variable it means our variable is read only and we cannot unset it okay now if you want to make multiple variables read only then in that case you can write here multiple variable name for example let's say where two okay so after this particular line after this line is written then the value of these variables cannot be changed okay but before this particular line i can change the value of any particular variable for example i can change the value here okay i can write here let's say network manager okay this will be perfectly fine right but if i try to change here in this particular line then it will give me error okay so if i save it and again run our script right i'm giving here apache 2 but i'm changing the value here as network manager so the output will be shown according to the network manager okay so it is saying network manager is active 
right and i am trying to unset it so that is the reason it is giving me error all right and one last thing that sometimes we also want to define the value of a variable while making it read only so in that case you can write here read only let's say variable let's say variable equals to and you can give here any value okay just like we do for the normal variables for read only variables you can give here any value okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and have to see in the next video